god, what can I think? <laughs> Hi guys and welcome or welcome back. If you are new then I would love it if you'd stick around and hit the subscribe button. Today's video I'm going to be showing you some of my favourites, some things I've just been loving recently. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this video yet but whatever the title is, there you go. That's what I'm doing. So I'm going to start off with these heels. So these heels are from Nasty Gal and they are very comfortable and also they're not very high. So it's it's not super squidgy here, but it's comfortable. It's not rock hard. This is comfy. It stays on your foot. It's got the strap. And yeah, I don't like any heels that are too high and that are just, I can't walk in them because they're too uncomfortable. So these are just comfortable enough that I can wear them for a few hours and feel absolutely fine. So yeah, love these. These are really nice and they do go with a lot of things. And I don't own any other white shoes except for my white trainers. So I've got a white pair of heels and a white pair of trainers. So yeah, I also would like to get some white boots. I do want to invest in some really nice white boots. I have my eye on some that this girl keeps wearing on TikTok and they are absolutely gorgeous. I just don't know where to get them from. So yeah, these are gorgeous, love these. If you do know anywhere to buy beautiful white boots that are pretty flat and you know, have a nice bit of platform so that like I said they're not too high on the ankles and they do fit really nice then please let me know in the comments the next item I'm going to show you is Elemis products now I have done a skincare video on my Elemis products that I use on my face my skin isn't too good recently because I was being a bit lazy and not using my products and that's what happens if I get lazy and I don't do all my skin routine then I get spots so that's my own fault you know naughty me um but these new products that i've been using recently are for my body this one is the elemis modern english rose bath and shower milk now it's not milky as in the sense of really liquidy it's it's more of like a gel it's more of a sticky sort of um body wash you know like that over there it's a body wash and it smells so nice. It doesn't smell like, you know, how do I explain? It doesn't smell super just, it does smell fresh, but it doesn't smell like that kind of, I mean, I'm trying to think of like what this smells of. It smells like, this is what I'm going to read off the bottle. It smells like English rose, elderflower, and I cannot say that word for my life. I don't know if this is going to focus. No, I'll put the name on the screen of what it says because I have no idea what that says. Anyway, if I was going to describe the smell of this, it doesn't smell like old lady rose, if that makes sense, because that's when I think of like scented rose things, I think of like, that sounds really mean, I don't mean that old ladies smell awful, but you know like that old lady perfume kind of thing, it doesn't smell like that, it just smells really nice and like you've got a bit of perfume on and it just smells like you are very clean and like you don't need to put perfume on and to go with this my second thing is the cream that goes on afterwards this is the modern I've got some on my finger now wipe that off again this is the modern English rose body cream now this I love so much because it doesn't leave your skin feeling overly greasy, overly sticky, anything like that. It's a bit of a mix between, how I would describe this, is it's a mix between a lotion and, you know, a regular cream. So it does sink into your skin, but it doesn't sink into the point where there's nothing left and you feel like, well, what was the point in that? It's all rubbed in and now I'm dry again. It sinks in to the point where you just feel soft now and you can still feel a bit of like a cream sort of on you, but it's not overpowering where you couldn't wear it out in the day. I feel like this is a really good day cream and I would happily wear this all over my body before putting my clothes on in the day and then for night time just wear a, you know, stronger body butter. But this, yeah, it is really nice. And like I said, it smells really nice. This smells the same as the, um, not cream. This smells the same as the 
body milk, the shower milk, and yeah, I really, really like it, and I'm really happy I got this. So the next product I wanted to show you is a fake tan. Now, this is Vita Labrata, and I got it from a spa. Now, you can get this. I think the spa does do this in a spray, um, as a spray tan, obviously, is what I'm trying to say. They do do it as a spray tan, but obviously I opted for doing it myself and just getting the mitt. And this looks so natural and it's buildable as well. How they say to use it is put a layer on, next morning wash it off, then that night put another layer on, the next morning wash it off. You can go up to three. So like, you can do that three days in a row to go your darkest, but if I just want to look natural and just have a bit of a skin like kissed sort of look, I'll just do the one layer and it lasts me about a week and a half. Obviously by sort of the next week it is sort of coming off in it is coming off but it doesn't come off to me on my body, it doesn't come off patchy. For me, it comes off just lightly so it starts to get lighter and lighter on my skin and then I do need to start scrubbing because then it would you know after after a week and a half it any fake tan would probably go a bit patchy and it does around sort of this area because I wash my hands a lot and obviously everyone washes hands a lot at the minute but I generally do wash my hands a lot so it comes off my hands you know within the first week but that's just I understand why so yeah it says three to it says two to three weeks on the bottle Maybe if you were like moisturising more then it would stay on longer. I get a bit lazy when I put when I put this on and I don't moisturise like every single night so maybe that's why it doesn't last as long on me but to me I feel like it looks good for a week and then a week and a half sort of stretch. Do you know what I mean? So yeah I do really like this. I get it in the shade dark and yeah, I just really like it. I feel like I just look really natural. I don't look like I have fake tan on. It looks like I've just been in the sun. And yeah, I really, really like this. Okay, so the next two things I'm going to mention are not new things. These are things that I have loved for a very, very long time. First things first, this one. I love this perfume so much. I don't know if I've mentioned it in another video. Probably have. But I love this perfume so much. It's Michael Kors Midnight Shimmer. I have loved this perfume since I was 16 years old. Maybe 17. I think I was 17, sorry. I was 17 years old when I first smelled this perfume and I wore it when I went on my first holiday with my boyfriend to Turkey and it smells amazing. This reminds me of holidays every time I wear it. Oh my god, I just, I love it so, so much. It's, I think it was described as like a vanilla musky like I don't know how to explain how it was described but it doesn't smell like that to me it just smells sweet but not too sickly sweet it smells just absolutely perfect for holiday I would wear this in the day in the evening I think it is more of an evening scent but yeah I love this perfume it is my go-to I always come back to this perfume. If I've ever tried any other perfume, this is the one I come back to. If you haven't tried it, I highly, highly recommend. It is beautiful. So the next thing I want to show you is a DVD. Now this film is either one of my favourites, if not my favourite film of all time. I love this film. It's got action, it's got romance, it's got fantasy, it's amazing. Now that the weather has started to go a bit more cold and a bit more gloomy, it's just one of those films that I just love to settle down in my covers, have nice comfy pyjamas on after you've got out of the shower, get a hot chocolate or a coffee, sit and watch this film. I just love this film. It's just such a nice, lovely film and I'm obsessed. So if you've never seen this film, Practical Magic, I suggest you watch it if you enjoy things, all things witchy and, you know, fantasy, all that, this is a great film. I also love Sandra Bullock. So if you like Sandra Bullock. So the next thing I wanted to show you is this, I mean, it looks a bit, you know, like rough and not great anymore, but this is a wet brush. I have used this brush for so many years, it's about time I got a new one. All the bristles are sort of going a bit shrinky and, you know, looking a bit bad because the hairdryer has seemed to have bent some of them because I've had it for years and years and years 
But this brush is amazing. If you haven't tried the brand like wet brush, if you haven't had one of these wet brushes, they're amazing. They don't pull on your hair like regular brushes do. So when you're brushing, it slides through. And yes, when you file a tug, it just sort of really easily detangles your hair without feeling like you're ripping your hair out, without feeling like you're really having to push on your hair. It just seems to get tangles out a lot easier than regular brushes. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because the bristles are super flexible, but when I use this brush, I just feel like it gets out without hurting my head because I do get really sore head. I find that regular brushes just really, really give me a sore scalp. This doesn't. When I use this, it makes my hair look shiny, it makes my hair look silky, and it just I just feel like it's, it just works a lot better than regular brushes. So I love this and I have loved this for years and years and years. I think I've loved this brush since I was early teens. I mean, I think I was like 14, 15 when I got this. That is how long it has lasted me. It used to be like really, really nice white. Now it's got like marks on it and it looks a bit cream. But yeah, that's how long I've had it and how much I love it because this is literally my ride or die brush. I need to get a new one. But the website has so many different brushes, very, I can't even speak, variations of the wet brush now. I don't know what to go for. There's like so much to choose from. So I need to invest in a new brush and go for the right one because I love it. So the next thing I wanted to mention is my melt burner. I love this so much. I'm going to be saying that the whole way through because it's a, obviously things I've been loving favourites video. But the colour is so nice and it's just... I don't know, it's just beautiful. And I got it off my auntie, she was actually throwing this out and I was like, no don't, no don't, I want that, that is absolutely stunning. So my boyfriend actually got me an advent calendar for Christmas with, obviously Christmas obviously was a while ago, but he got me an advent calendar with loads of different melts in it and these are them. So I've been sort of going through, it was, a, it was quite a big advent calendar, so yeah, this one at the minute, I've got burning smells like, you know that lip scrub from Lush, that lip scrub from Rush, why am I saying Rush, that lip scrub from Lush, that's the pink one, that it smells like that, exactly the same, it's like a bubblegum, really sweet, is it called like fairy or something, it's something like that, they bring it out I think at Christmas time um, in Lush, that smells exactly the same and I love my room smelling of that. There's so many different nice scents that I've got in here. I just love it. Obviously, I won't be able to link the exact Melts advent calendar, but I will try and link anything similar to this. And yeah, it's just, it's so, so nice having a little melt burner in your bedroom. I just love it. And I especially love this one. So yeah, if I can find anything similar, then I will link it below. And yeah, any sort of melts are great. It just makes your room smell amazing. And I love incense and things like that, but sometimes with incense it gets a bit on my asthma, whereas this doesn't. I do find that the melt sort of gives the smell and makes my room smell nice without adding that little bit of um, catching my asthma. I do still like my incense, but I have to have the windows open and blah blah blah, you don't want to know. But yeah, I do absolutely love this. The next thing that is quite new to me is this. It is the brand Spotlight Oral Care Teeth Whitening Strips. Now, this I really like because the strips don't, they come, first of all, they come in this little package. How nice, that's so sweet, it comes in this. And you get your strips inside. And it also comes with a teeth whitening toothpaste, which, thank you, love that. The reason why I love these so much is, one, you wear it for an hour, and it doesn't repeat, does not hurt your teeth or gums. I hate when you put a teeth whitening thing on and you sat there in absolute agony wearing it being like, oh my god, it's like so sensitive. This doesn't do that. This feels really, really nice. And you just don't, I can sit there, watch telly for an hour, watch a film and then take it off. And it's just given me that little bit more whiteness that I needed. It's not a massive drastic change after one use where you're just like wow beaming white but obviously if you use this religiously you're gonna get that because after one use like I do I spread it out after like when I need it just a little bit more whitening 
I think I can see a difference. That looks great. They look nice and clean, pearly whites. I just love this so much. Brush my teeth with the whitening toothpaste first, bob it on, leave it on for an hour, set my timer on my phone. And then when I take them off, I scrub my teeth again with the teeth whitening toothpaste and I notice a difference and I just love this. But basically you use this for two weeks and obviously I haven't used all of them so I can't say if it's gonna make my teeth look massively different. My teeth aren't that yellow anyway, but yeah, I mean obviously I can't say that it's gonna make your teeth massively different in two weeks because I haven't used it all yet, but I'm liking it so far and I just think that it is giving me the look that I want. It is lightening my teeth just that little bit lighter and yeah, I am really, really enjoying this. So last but not least, I wanted to mention my nail lamp. So I got this off Amazon. I would recommend getting one that is a bit bigger than this because with this one that I have, it works fine, it works perfectly fine, but I can only fit in the four fingers first. It won't fit my whole hand. So I think get a bigger one than this one just so that it's not taking up so much time because obviously I have to set my nails like that and then do a minute on the thumb. So I suggest getting a bigger one than the one I have, but I love it still. It's something that I turn to a lot because obviously with COVID and things, booking appointments is a bit hard at the minute. And I just find sometimes you just want to do it yourself. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, I can't bother going to the salon to get my nails done. I just want to have nice gel nails and do it myself so the colors that i have i have a few i have lots of colors but the ones i'm going to show is this green one this i absolutely love wearing such a pretty color this one which is a nice what do you call it pink <laughs> why can't i think of that and this pink is gorgeous and this is also nice it's a nice peachy color love this this these ones i got in a big box with loads of different colors very very nice i'll try and link it below and yeah absolutely love the top coat and base coat that i would recommend it does come in a pack of three i can't find the other at the minute but i think the other is an oil if i'm not mistaken but anyway these the top and base coat is the brand how to say this i think it says model ones but i'll leave again the name up on the screen um this is just really good base coat really good top coat doesn't leave them sticky you do not need to wipe this off you know like in the salon when you get your gel nails and they put a top coat on and it's still tacky and they have to go over it with some of the regular nail varnish remover this you don't have to wipe off so it's great you just put the base coat on do your nail color and then bob this on top and you're good to go obviously after you've set it and it just makes your nails look really nice shiny and lasts a long time really really like so i will link these below so that's everything i have for you today anything that i can't link below i will try and link something similar and also please check me out on instagram i'll bob it up on the screen now if you did enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up and thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye